Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Today I have something a little different than I've been posting. Most of the, my recent videos have been about Adobe Acrobat uh, pre-flight profiles and how to create them. Today is going to be about a Adobe InDesign script that I've found useful over the years. Uh, this is not something that I have created myself. This is something that I've downloaded from online. Uh, it's gone through numerous iterations over the years, uh, but I figured I would share it. It's especially important to folks who, like myself, work in the uh, pre-press area. So this website is where you can download this script. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description of the video. Um, but the, essentially what it is, is it's a importer for a multi-page PDF document, and it allows you to customize some settings. So if you've never uh, imported or never put a script into InDesign before, uh, you download your source code here. It says just a zip file, which I have here on the desktop. And essentially, if I open this up, it's a JavaScript file. So in order to import this into InDesign, you want to make sure your InDesign application is closed. And then you go into the Applications folder. InDesign 2024, Scripts, Scripts Panel, Samples, and of course, like I said, this is a JavaScript, so you hit JavaScript, and then you essentially just drag this into that folder, and then when you open up InDesign the next time, it'll be available in your Scripts Panel. So, what I have here, if I open this file up, is an old Target branding um, PDF and it's just a 10 page PDF document multi-page document here if I open up the document properties it's 11 by eight and a half so it's essentially a landscape booklet I don't know how exactly it was binded in the past or whatever it could have been saddle stitch perfect bound whatever um, but what I've done is I have created a brand new PDF file actually let me delete this so I can start from scratch here let me delete these other pages. Okay, so what I've done here is I've created a single page PDF file that's 11 by 8.5, just like our, um, did I say PDF file? I meant <laughs> in, in, in design document. A one page 11 by 8.5 in design document that is the same size as our PDF file that we're going to be importing. I've created it with facing page, pages. And then on my uh, parent pages, I have created a hole punch pattern for uh, spiral bound. So let's say customer has provided this, the file that we're, we were looking at here, um, but they don't have a bleed. They just want to go ahead and create it with a white border and then they want it spiral bound, right? So should be s simple to make something like that. However, if I once I open up my scripts panel and this one here place multi-page PDF this is the default uh, script for placing a, a multi-page PDF document into InDesign uh, this comes from uh, default from uh, Adobe when you open up the program so I'm gonna import this file that I showed you and I'm gonna I want to import it into the document that I'm currently working on so I hit OK and then I'm going to just place it on the first page of the PDF I hit OK and it automatically builds out the other pages that we're missing so fills out all pages 1 to 10 right it's gonna place it a hundred percent right essentially from the top left hand corner of the page which is fine because we have a eight or a 11 by eight and a half size document right except that I want to place this in where my margins are there's no functionality built in with this script to do anything with it except essentially just get it into InDesign from here I can move it and shrink it manipulate it and do how do whatever I want with it 
which is okay if you have a few pages. Even this document, 10 pages long, it's not so bad. But if you have a, let's say, a document that's 150 or 200 pages, uh, 500 page books I've worked with in the past, I don't want to go through and manipulate 500 pages in my InDesign document. I want everything already set up for me when I import it. So what I'm going to do is, let me go back to start basically. I'll delete the other pages and then I'll delete this one. So we're back to a single page PDF file, or uh, InDesign, I said it again, PDF file. It, a single page InDesign document. I go back to my scripts pan panel and I'm going to select the other uh, multi-page importer. This is the one that we downloaded and put in when I first started the video. So I select the uh, same PDF file. I'm going to click open and then let me just run you through some of the functionality in here because unlike the other script this actually allows you to do some manipulation to the PDF that you're down that you're importing into your InDesign document. So here simple just tell it which pages you want. In this case, we're going to go 1 through 10. We want all 10 pages. We're going to start placing on uh, the first page of the document. If you wanted to, you could start placing it later on. And again, if this does not have enough pages, like we've gone back to just a single page, it will automatically add the required pages to fill up the rest of this PDF file that you're importing. Here's where we can do some different sizing options. Let's say you have an oversized PDF and you just want to shrink it down to whatever your pasteboard size is here in InDesign. If you check this, it'll automatically just put it to where, wherever, however it can fit onto this pasteboard size. In this case, we're going from a, uh, if I cancel this and go back, we're going for a or from a 11 inch wide PDF document and we want to place it inside this margin right here so the margin is 10 and 1 8 in size so if I just pull up my calculator and if I go 10.125 divided by 11 it gives me approximately 92 percent is what the size of the PDF is going to be so if I go back in here I click it and I'm going to go to these two boxes and change it to 92 percent so essentially it's going to take that PDF file and just shrink it down to 92 percent. Here's where you can tell the, the um, script where to position that PDF file on import. So by default it gives you a center position so essentially it's going to put it right from this position and if obviously if I'm shrinking it to 92 percent it's going to shrink it from the center and shrink from all four sides down 92 percent and boom place it right in the middle. I don't want to do that. I want to place it from this side here because I have a spine that I need to worry for these uh, the whole punch pattern. So in here, if I click the drop down, it gives you different options. You can choose, you know, obviously top left or top center, top right, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I want the one that's relative to the spine. So I'm going to click center relative to spine and that's going to place it from this reference point here. So it's going to take that PDF file and it's going to come out from the 11 inch side here and shrink it down to 92 percent somewhere over in this uh, area here. However, it's going to place it directly on the left hand uh, edge of the pasteboard, which I don't want because I have the whole pattern here, right? So what I can do here is I can tell it to offset. In this case it's a half inch is where my um, my in, inside margin is. So I want to go 0.5. So it's going to go from here, reference down 92%, and then it's going to place it here. And then because I put this dimension in, it's going to kick it over a half inch. And then the last area, obviously I don't want to mess with the Y position because I want to put it directly in the center. But if I wanted to, I could kick it down or kick it up uh, but in this case, I, I'm just going to leave it at zero. And then the last area down here is the placement options. And this essentially just allows you to select whether you're choosing the media size of the PDF or the art box, trim box, bleed, etc., etc. Just gives you a few different options. 
And then it also allows you to place it onto a new layer. Um, it allows you to ignore any font image errors, which I'll just go ahead and check that. Um, and then it also allows you to either choose a transparent PDF background, or if you uncheck that, it'll essentially make it a white background. So I'll just leave it uh, checked. So once I hit OK, it's going to go ahead and start importing. And it's going to create a 10 page PDF document, or uh, InDesign, I said it again, P uh, a 10 page InDesign document from this PDF. So if I go back to page one, you can see what it's done is the, the PDF now has gone from eight and a half by 11 to 10.12 by 7.82, which is essentially 92% of what the original size was. It's also placed it in the um, vertical center and it's kicked it over this half inch, which if I click on the uh, the bounding box here it's placed it at 0.5 so it's done all the things that I wanted to and not only that but it's done it for all of the pages relative to the spine so on this page the spine is on the right so it's uh, shrunk it down 92 percent but it's pushed it over from the right to the left this one has pushed it from the left to the right because this is the spine and it's done that for each of the individual pages within the um, within that PDF document. So obviously this is only ten pages, but if it was you know a thousand pages, it would do it for all a thousand, all one thousand pages. And it allows you to make all of those changes during the import stage uh, of the creation of the file instead of importing them all at 100% from the top left hand corner and then having to manipulate each individual page however you want as far as size and position. So I hope that was very uh, helpful for everybody. Again, I'll place the link to download the script in the video. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I appreciate all the comments that I've been getting. I appreciate everybody that's been uh, viewing the videos. Um, please keep sharing, subscribing, and hopefully I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.